Hello, and welcome to our channel of how to's and reviews for all types of liquid desserts. Today we'll be uncorking a special surprise, or popping it open this time, of the Corbell California Champagne Extra Dry. And we'll be going over a little bit of the how to's to open a champagne bottle and some trivia and knowledge that you might want to know about champagne as well. So stay tuned. Before we start, I do want to go over a little bit of the basics about the champagne bottle in itself. So every champagne bottle is going to come with a top like this. And then you'll find a lip on the side that makes it very easy to take off the plastic. So once you find this lip, like I'll show you a little bit later in the video, you just spin all the way around and the whole plastic will come right off. Then at the very top, we have the mousselet. It's just a fancy way, a French way to say muzzle or the champagne cage at the top that I'll also show you a little bit later. You unscrew that and then pop that cage off very easily. And then from there, you'll take the cork off. That will be the main distinction of how you want to open the champagne bottle. Everything else is the same up to that point. But once you get to the cork, you're going to choose if you want to get that big New Year's pop and for a big cheers and celebration or if you're looking to do it the sophisticated quote unquote correct way to do it it's going to be very slowly and delicately so that very little pop comes out and more concentration stays inside the bottle and i'll show you of course to do how to do that a little bit later now everybody knows the most famous way of opening a champagne bottle for new years for wedding celebrations you shake this thing up and then you pop it open but because of that reason most of the time champagne bottles are limited to for those celebrations. My recommendation would be to try out some champagne bottles. There's gonna be a lot of beautiful tasting champagne bottles with a lot of brands. The more common reputable, reputable brands are gonna be Vogue Clicquot, uh, Moet Chandert. Both of those are gonna be brands that are taking the world by storm. This, the Corbel, is gonna be a brand that I have not tasted before and I will be tasting at the end of the video. But like we've said before, liquid desserts, are going to be things that are to the eye of the beholder so it depends on your specific taste buds and that's why i do recommend you go out there and you try out some champagne for yourself maybe for a date night champagne pairs beautifully with many types of appetizers all types of fried food cheesy foods oysters appetizer foods that can get the date started off right and then from there switch to another type of liquid maybe a chardonnay or a cabernet and now to open the champagne bottle like we stated previously, I will show you the exact process of how to formally, quote unquote, open a champagne bottle. The most important thing is that you're having fun. So if you do want to shake it up and pop it open, of course, do that. But there are a few steps that you can do to make it easy. The first things first, the best thing about champagne bottles, all you need is your hands and maybe a little rag like this one. Now, like we stated before, starting off, there's going to be a little lip at the very top. Like I said, extremely easy to take that off. You just grab that lip, you spin it around like this, and it just comes off by itself. Put to the side, and then this plastic will come right off, right off the top. Try not to be so messy for the video. And then, as you'll see, there's gonna be a little screws over here. You just pull this down, and then you unscrew, and that will take off the champagne cage. It's a lot of easy steps. Champagne are one of the easiest bottles to open. It is just going to be one of one of the loudest and possibly one of the most dangerous because of this step. So there, finally, we have just the cloth. And this is where the cloth comes in. If you want, you can put the cloth on top. That way it makes it easier to cover it and not, not let so much air out at the same time. Or if you would like to do that New Year's pop, you just shake this thing open, grab both fingers, and pop. I'll show you guys how to do it silently because you guys know how to do it loud way so you just grab the cloth you put it on top and then with your hand slowly and surely wiggle it out it's gonna make it so that a little bit of air comes out little by little and then you don't have to worry about that big pop coming in hitting you right in the face and now yeah, pretty silent this time and now you get a little bit of debris but like i said most of it stays inside the bottle so it makes it for the best tasting now the server, I'm just going to do the classic server stuff, put this right here. And this is going to be your champagne glass. It comes in a little flute. The common or the best way to hold a champagne glass is going to be from the stem. 
You obviously can hold it however you want, that is gonna be the common way to do it. And then from there, you just pour it down the middle and enjoy your champagne. Now it is common to pour a tasting first, but at the same time, there's gonna be for me, and I want a lot. We'll try it out. Very dry. Very dry champagne, bubbly at the same time. It's a good champagne. I prefer my champagne extremely dry, makes it easier to taste and also pears I think better whenever you're actually eating it with food. Right now it is a bit strong, but compared whenever you're eating it with food, it's gonna go beautiful. That's a great champagne right there. And for instance, this champagne was extremely cheap compared to the rest of them, so it all com comes down to the IAB holder, because I will be buying this again. Join us for our next video about bubblies and other types of sparklings. But for now, thank you for joining us in this video, and Cheers.